One of the questions I get asked all the time are people asking me, hey, should I buy Dogecoin or should I buy Shiba Inu? Which one's the best? Well, in this video, I hope to explain that very question. Doggy, dog coin, it's Dogecoin. Dogecoin skyrocketing after Elon Musk said Tesla would accept it as payments for some of its merchandise. But I'm also interested that you said a new coin, I think it's called Shibu Inu, uh, it was the hottest coin on your marketplace over the past year. Coin, the cryptocurrency that started off as a joke is no longer a laughing matter for some people. I'm sitting in this bed, in the studio apartment, and I just became a millionaire. So to simplify, both of these projects are essentially called meme coins, which was a phrase not really understood or known until about December of 2013 when Dogecoin officially launched. It eventually came over into the stock world with GameStop back in January of 2021. Unlike GameStop, both these projects were copy and paste from already working projects. Dogecoin was created by a beloved crypto community member named Jackson Palmer in about 15 minutes that he forked from a project called Lucky Coin, which was a fork from a project called Litecoin, which was also itself a fork from Bitcoin. So as a joke to make fun of all the crypto tokens being created, and he specifically made it where it would have have no value and it was de-incentivized by miners to mine it because randomized rewards and all this stuff. So back in 2013, that token was essentially the very first meme coin that ever existed. Shiba Inu was established in August of 2020 by an anonymous person or group known as Royoshi to make fun of Dogecoin's popularity. In fact, their logo was the name taken from Dogecoin as the Doge mascot is an actual Shiba Inu. But unlike Dogecoin, which has its own chain, meaning its own coin, Shiba was built off of another project called Ethereum and used Ethereum's ERC20 token like many have. And now the Shiba Inu token is actually built under the ERC20 Ethereum umbrella. So Dogecoin is a completely whole different project, different chain, different everything, where Shiba Inu is a token launched underneath Ethereum, which more than probably 80% of all the tokens currently are launched underneath that umbrella as well. So if you'd like, you can compare Dogecoin to Bitcoin and Shiba Inu to Ethereum, which means Doge was built off a platform to be used as money, where Shiba Inu was built off a platform that could take advantage of smart contracts and run Ethereum-based applications, which gives them two different use cases if both were used for what they were actually built as. So I know what you guys are thinking. A, which project can I put my money in and become rich just the most? And B, Weren't you wearing a different shirt earlier? <laughs> and to the second one, yes, I was. My video froze and I had to re-record this. But to the first one, uh, this is gonna, uh, gonna um, require understanding some numbers really quick. So let's kind of dive into CoinGecko and go over both projects and kind of see where the market value um, for these projects are. Okay, so if we take a look at uh, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, Dogecoin is ranked number 12, Shiba Inu is ranked number 14. Uh, Dogecoin is at 12 cents and Shiba Inu is at 0 0.00002585. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to investing in a project, the price is irrelevant. Uh, this doesn't really mean anything. Uh, in the stock world, it used to mean something um, because if a stock was worth 1500 you had to have $1,500 um, in order to... to invest in that stock right well you don't need 12 cents you could buy dogecoin with one penny you just wouldn't have a dogecoin you would have a twelfth of a dogecoin but really what's relevant is the market cap so dogecoin's at 18 billion dollar market cap while shiba inu's at a 13 billion dollar market cap so the reason why that's important is because when you're talking about how high a price can go this is the number you need to worry about the price of the token, it's the total worth of the project divided by the circulating supply. So the project is worth a billion dollars and there's a billion tokens. So the token would be, it would be worth a dollar. But if there was, you know, half a billion tokens or two billion tokens, it would change the, the actual um, token price. So 
we take our calculator, we can take the uh, market cap. So this is the total value of the project. And we are going to put that in. And we are going to divide it by how many tokens are currently available. So there's 17, the market cap is 17 billion, and there are 132 billion tokens. So divide that by 132, and we get 12.9, which, uh, you know, it's a little bit different, but uh, um, but that's pretty much how the price is, is, uh, is made. <clears throat> now, the way that uh, this website does things as well is they take all of the marketplaces that are listed and they average out all these prices. You know, one exchange might be listed at 13 cents while another one is listed at 12.8. So um, they take all of those prices and average it out and that's how this website gets that price. But yeah, it's the market cap divided by the circulating supply. In fact, if we go to Shiba Inu coin, you will see it is the same thing. We're gonna go to Shiba. The total value of Shiba coin is 14 billion. We're gonna divide that by the circulating supply, which is uh, let's see, thousand million billion five hundred and forty nine trillion divided by that, and then you get and it says two point five, but really it's uh, this negative five just essentially means we need to move this over five decimal points, right? So it's right here. One, two, three, four, five, and now the decimal points there, which is the price of the token. So, um, but yeah, so the, the reason why this is important to know is this is what matters. This is the value of the project. Whoops, sorry, the market cap, my bad. Market cap is the, is the value of the project. So now we need to uh, look at this price and say, okay, it's 14 billion. Well, what is the, the roof of this 14 billion? And do I believe this project can hit it? So um, <clears throat> this is the chart that somebody made that kind of shows you where all the money is in the world and where everything gets its value. Um, and uh, as you see, it was, uh, it was published in 2020, so about two years ago, but it's a little bit more relevant. But um, this is a good idea of how large a project can go. So let's just say if Dogecoin wanted to, wanted to take over money supply, a completely 100% everybody's on Dogecoin, it would be about 95 trillion. Um, which obviously, you know, I don't see it doing that, but hey, if it even took over 1% of the market share, you know, let's just say that's a trillion. Let's, you know, let's round up a little bit. So we can say, okay, well, it's worth 14 billion if it took over 1% of all the world supply money, which I think is a stretch, but you know, whatever. Um, let's just run those numbers. Um, it's going to be 14, oops, 14 billion, or sorry, we're gonna go 1 trillion. That's a million, billion, trillion. And we're gonna divide it by the current uh, market cap it would do about a 70x. So if Shiba Inu took over 1% of the money supply, now people argue because uh, Dogecoin is kind of made for money where Shiba Inu um, has smart contracts and can, be do, can take over more web stuff. Um, still, what do you think? Do you think this could be a $2 trillion company? Because the biggest company in the world right now is showing Apple at 2.6 trillion. So if it became a company worth 2.6 trillion, then and that would be the that would be essentially competing with the biggest company in the world, and this is at one trillion. Um, you know, we could essentially add another seventy and then add thirty-five because it's another one point five trillion. This would be one hundred and seventy-five x. So <clears throat> now the reason why this is important as well is you just have to understand what value does Shiba Inu bring, and does it bring more value than Apple, than Amazon? You know, and. Uh, and if you believe that, then at most, you're kind of looking at 175X. So at most, you're looking at a 175X potential. So even if you think it's gonna get there, now all you gotta do is the reverse math and take that million dollars and divide it by 175. So this shows that if you put $5,714 into that token Shiba and it went 175X or Dogecoin, then you would need to post, have at least 5,700-ish tokens. 
I know I'm in a different shirt again, by the way. I realized after recording this video, I forgot to mention this little last piece of the puzzle. So back to the video. So look, I'm not here to debate if Shiba's ever gonna get there, if Dogecoin's ever gonna get there, but they both pretty much have the same value when it comes to the actual market cap exploding. But yeah, so it's just kind of hard when you talk about these about these two and should I, can I put $100 in and become a millionaire? Well, no, but I do think these could do a 10X. So I think if you had 50 to $100,000 that you put in these tokens, you might become a millionaire. Um, you know, and it may take five years, 10 years, it may take three years, it may be, you know, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, now if Shiba Inu had a market cap of 14 million or 144 million or something, but it's at 14 billion. Um, and what value does it bring, right? Shiba's uh, piggybacking off of the meme ability of Dogecoin and Dogecoin, by the way, Dogecoin could have value if a bunch of programmers got on and they could, you know, take a lot of what Bitcoin has done and implement that back into their code. Um, but uh, but yeah, I you know, they're kind of big enough to where I think the, the following is, is strong enough to where they'll be relevant, but how relevant, I don't know. And by the way, just know uh, a lot of these tokens like SafeMoon, for instance, I recently got told that uh, a big influencer, I don't want to say the name, but um, was on a call and there were some celebrities on the call and and they got into SafeMoon before, you know, it was marketed and stuff like that. So a lot of these projects that succeed, they succeed because there's a lot of money behind them. And uh, they're hoping that a lot of people like us um, dump our money into it and then they slowly sell over time um, so they can end up making, you know, the most gains. Now, one of the benefits of blockchain is the fact that it's all out in the open. So you can actually track every single wallet and transaction that has ever taken place. And so I went ahead and looked at about 10,000 wallets of Shiba Inu and Dogecoin to see who had the most money and kind of who those wallets were managed by and to see kind of what I could find. And so I ended up making this little graph that you ended up seeing right here. Uh, the left side, obviously, is Dogecoin, and the right side is Shiba Inu. And uh, I kind of gave some stats of everything that I ended up finding. So the market cap at the time of recording this was very similar. The circulating supply of these you can actually find on CoinGecko. Uh, same thing with the total supply. Uh, and this is where I ended up finding information on the blockchain. So in Dogecoin, there is 4.7 million wallets out there versus Shiba Inu's 1.1 million wallets. And that kind of makes sense. Shiba um, is new and Dogecoin's been around since 2013-14. Uh, and as I went through the wallets, you can tell that some of these wallets are manipulated. Uh, you can see that a lot of wallets have a very small decimal of the exact same amount of tokens, and you'll find many wallets with those exact same number of tokens as well. You also find a bunch of large wallets that are connected to exchanges. You know, there's many, many exchanges that hold a, a lot of these tokens, and so there's a lot of those that I don't really want to count as people who have over a million dollars in it. Uh, and this is kind of what I found. So the manipulated wallets, I found about 134 in Dogecoin, found about 223 in Shiba. And wallets that had over $100,000 in it, I found 6,575 wallets in Dogecoin that had over $100,000 to Shiba Inu where I found 2,888 wallets that had over $100,000. Now when you get to the million dollar wallets, 960 of them were from Dogecoin and 985 of them were from Shiba Inu. And as I actually look today, as I'm editing this, Shiba Inu is actually increased by about 100, while Dogecoin stayed about the same. So uh, you will see that fluctuate as the project gains market cap and loses market cap value. And then when we go to the multi-million dollar wallets, I found 611 in Dogecoin. And I found 534 of those wallets that had more than, uh, had multiple millions of dollars in it with Shiba Inu. Now, kind of the interesting thing that I found as well is uh, one out of a, uh, so again, a lot of people think that 
there's a lot of people that made a lot of money. Well, only one out of 4,977 Doge holders are millionaires, and only one out of 1,174 Shiba holders are millionaires. And if you were to take this number, uh, there's 300 and 30 million people just in the United States. So if you look at how many people, if only people in the United States bought Shiba or Do Doge, which you know that's not true. You, there's many people in many, in many countries on the earth, probably well over 2 billion people that had access to this. And of the 2 billion-ish people, uh, only you know a thousand millionaires are made out of both uh, of these projects. In fact, if you were just to take how many millionaires does this compare to with the United States, it's something like 0.000015% or something like that. So these projects haven't made a ton of millionaires, which is kind of interesting because you hear about these all over the news. Now, interestingly enough, if you were to look at Bitcoin, there are a lot more millionaires that hold Bitcoin wallets than Doge and Shiba put together. In fact, last year when the price of Bitcoin was around $50,000, there were over 100,000 people that had over a million dollars in their wallets. Uh, you know, right now the price currently of recording this is around 40000 44 so it's not that much lower than that. So maybe 75000 you know, I don't know. But you're looking at less than a 1000 with Shiba, less than a 1000 with Dogecoin, and over a 100000 people in Bitcoin. So when it comes to who has made the majority of the people rich, it's obviously, no question, Bitcoin. So, which project would I hold to become a millionaire the quickest, Dogecoin or Shiba Inu? Well, I, you know, $20,000 into Dogecoin might get you to become that millionaire status if you hold on to it for a long time. The markets will go up over time, I believe, even if you see bear markets. Essentially, if Bitcoin gets to a million dollars, all the other tokens will end up pumping and you could end up seeing great returns on a Dogecoin or a Shiba Inu. I personally like Dogecoin a little bit more. It's the first of its kind. It's backed by the techno king Elon Musk himself. Uh, and there's a lot of history with this. Uh, Shiba Inu is kind of interesting because Vitalik Buterin, uh, the creator of Ethereum, does seem to be involved somewhat. They, he might know some people. He was given a bunch of Shiba Inu tokens that he gave away, so uh, that could be an interesting project. But when it comes to what project I would hold to become a millionaire, it wouldn't be any of these projects. And the biggest reason why is this market cap of 15 to 18 billion uh, that we were talking about. Now, I would like to find a project that would have, that would be in the millions. Uh, in fact, the lower, the better, because that's how you can uh, make the best return. For example, if this project Dogecoin ended up doubling Dogecoin's at a $15 billion market cap, it would have to go to a $30 billion market cap, which could for sure happen. I know it will, it has already. But what's easier, 15 billion going to 30 billion or 10 million going to 20 million? In fact, if you put 15 billion into a project that only had 10 million, uh, you could become a millionaire with only throwing, uh, with throwing very low capital into it. So for me personally, if I'm trying to find a project that I wanna become wealthy in, I kind of tend to look at things a little differently. I like to find projects that have value. I like to find projects that are actually gonna change the future for the better, something I believe in. And meme coins are fun, but it's a big time gamble. So you just kind of gotta place your bets the best that you can. And uh, currently the project, if, if you were to ask me where am I putting my money, and not to, I don't mean to be shilling this project, but if we took that $15 billion that Shiba, in, that uh, Dogecoin is in, and then we divided it by the current market cap of Luxo, Luxo would do a 75X return just to be as big as Dogecoin. 
So we're talking about Luxo right now, but it could be any token, and in Luxo's instance, it would have to do a 75x gain in order to be just as big as Shiba Inu. So if that's something that you believe in, all you would end up doing is reverse math again, take a million dollars, divide it by that 75, and we would find out it would take $13,333 in order to invest it. If it got to be as big as Shiba, you would become a millionaire. <laughs> So 75 times 13, if Luxo got to be as big as Dogecoin, it would be around a thousand dollar token. And so for me, when it comes to finding projects, I like to find projects I believe in that I actually like. I think they're gonna grow. I think they're gonna add value to the ecosystem. Uh, and I put it there. Again, the token price means nothing. It's all about the market cap. Okay, so I apologize. This video was not supposed to be 20 plus minutes long. This video is just supposed to be like five minutes long. But as I started making it and I started watching it, I realized I wanted to add more and more stuff. I wanted to explain things better. There's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on in this industry. So hopefully I explained it pretty well. Um, and hopefully I, I gave you a little bit better of an idea um, of the meme coin culture of these coins and the potential and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I guess it, when it comes down to it, it, you know, if you hear about a coin on Facebook, on Instagram, on the news, uh, it's too late. You can't put $100 in and turn it to a million dollars, right? Or, or whatever. People, you know, a thousand into a million or whatever. Um, you know, that, that, that gain already happened. And most of these big projects that make it, they make it because there's big people backing it. And they don't tell you who it is. And, and you just have to kind of know, you have to randomly guess what project it could be and hopefully you're right and there have been literally hundreds of thousands of scam projects that have failed and right now there's hundreds of meme coins right now if you want to throw money into a meme coin so which one of the hundreds of projects that's out right now um, is going to be the next one you, you don't know and so the people that became millionaires off of Doge and off of Shiba, um, the ones you hear about, they, they're the lucky one. They're the ones who, you know, just happened to put some money into a project. But, uh, you know, there's so many out there and, and uh, people get scammed all the time. And, and I also feel like what the news doesn't tell you and is super irresponsible is they'll say something like, hey, this project just did a 15,000% gain in the last 30 days. And you're thinking in your head, well, you know, 15,000%, that's 150X. So if I would have thrown $1,000 into that project, it would be worth $150,000 right now. Um, but what they don't tell you is that project originally, a month ago, was only worth $10,000 in total. And now it's worth $1.5 million. So yeah, it did crazy gains, but it's not like tons of people became millionaires. In fact, that project could literally only have one millionaire, and that's if that person owned most of the project, right? So when you hear about these crazy gains, you will hear about them. Go go to coingecko.com and type in that coin name and see what the value of that coin is. You'll see it's not worth billions of dollars. And so um, there's a lot of misleading information out there. And I gotta I gotta think it would be really difficult for me to put you know ten thousand dollars into a, a project and have it drop 70, 80 percent. Now I have two grand or whatever the case. Um, that would be rough. You know, but, uh, you know, kind of like st thing about stocks, you know, your friend tells you about a stock TCG or whatever the case, I'm, I'm just making stuff up and you're like, cool, I don't know what that is, but they made a bunch of money. I'm going to throw it in. Um, and then what if you lost a bunch of that money? That'd be rough, right? Because you're like, I have no idea even what it is. I was dumb of me to put money in the project because someone just told me to, and I thought it was, I thought I'd be rich. Just, you know, I don't know. But what if you put it into a project that you believed in, like Apple or Tesla, or I don't know what project you believe in, and then it did a, you know, 50% drop, or, you know, Apple, you know, Facebook just did a huge drop, and, you know, but if you believe in a project, and you think long-term it's going to do well, and it's building project, it's building things, and, you know, it's not going bankrupt, it's not like a guy's rug-pulling you and trying to steal all of your money, you know, it's a little bit mentally easier to take. Um... But, uh, but yeah, you just kind of be careful out there. And that's why I only invest in projects that I believe in the project. I believe in the leaders. I believe that they're talented. I believe they're doing the right thing. Honesty is a huge thing for me as well. Um, you know, advisors, you know, whatnot. You have to look into a bunch of things. And I will make a video coming up talking about what I look for personally in projects. So if you're interested in that, <laughs> hit that little bell notification down below and um, you'll be notified when that uh, video comes out. But um, but yeah, uh, I, I guess I'm gonna end the video there. I super appreciate everyone who has watched this so far. Um, and if you have, I would love a like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, um, share this with your friends, comment down below. 
Um, by the way, if you do ask any questions down below, I'll, I'll try to answer them. Um, sometimes I get overloaded, but I normally get all the responses and so I can uh, answer questions pretty quick. Um, but, uh, but yeah, every single like and subscribe really goes a long way. Every dollar that YouTube gives me goes straight to charity on this channel. So when you hit that like and hit that subscribe, it pushes my channel and it, it gets it out to more people. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate uh, everyone who's watched this and I will see you guys at the next. Oh, by the way, there's, I'm, I'm ending the video. So there's gonna be some like videos popping up here in a second. Um, one of them, I'm going to talk about Doge or uh, sorry, uh, Luxo my favorite project is the project I have most of my money in right now. Um, they're, they're in beta testing right now. And so their project might be launching here in the next couple of months. Um, you know, it's, uh, I'll kind of, so I'll show that video. And then the other video I'm going to talk about, um, potent, like if you want to make a million bucks and you're looking at a project and you're like, Hmm, can I be a millionaire from investing in this project? How much money do I need to invest in? Um, hopefully this video explains that and uh, kind of talks about the potentials you could make. And so I go over market cap and I go over the math I kind of did on this video. Um, and that way, if you hear about a project, you can hop to it. You can see if the, what they call tokenomics, you can see if the math all adds up and uh, you know, you can kind of do reverse math um, and see what a million dollars would look like and then reverse it and kind of see how much money you would need to put in to make that million dollars if it did the gains that you think it's gonna make kind of hard to explain but uh hopefully those two videos will pop up and then again see you in the next video super appreciate you guys take care bye